Hey guys, this is Garvit, and this is my first uh, Blender tutorial. So let's get started. So what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to make a simple character. So first, let's go into edit mode by uh, clicking tab, and okay, let's click one on the numpad. Let's click. A to deselect all this thing here and then B to box select and select these raw vertices and click E then 2 and then E and 2 and that's one part of the leg of our character so uh, then click A to deselect all B to B to box select and uh, Let's click E, 2, E, 2, let's click A, B to box select, then click E to extrude, and then 2, enter, uh, E, 2, enter. Okay, so this is the leg here. And then we click A, then B, and select the, uh, this row of vertices. And click E and two again, E and two again, and then one more for the head here. So E and two again. Okay, then you click A and B, and select this part which is going to be the arm. E and two, enter. E then two, enter. Let's click A, B to box select. So like this arm here, E, and click two, then click E, then two. Okay. So this is our basic character here. Now you're wor wondering uh, that this thing doesn't look like one character and and other stuff. But okay. Uh, let's click A to. A to deselect all and uh, if we go ahead and add the subdivision subdivision surface modifier which is located right here click on this thing and add modifier which is subdivision surface uh, and then we move that let's click on this thing first uh, and then we move this up to 2 that makes it much smoother or we can uh, to get the subdivision surface modifier we can click control 1 to get uh, set this on 1 and then control 2 to set this on 2 and then control 3 to set it on and on so uh, that's uh, basically our character here and we can go ahead and smooth the shading where okay first we click tab to go back into object mode and click smooth on the shading to get it a much smoother look and now this thing this camera and this light are distracting me so to uh, hide them I'm just gonna go and click on the eye button there hide the camera and then the lamp is right over here so I click on this thing here okay uh, and that hides them so uh, we have created uh, a character here but now he doesn't look right we need to add some color to it to him so I'm just gonna make him all one colored uh, and how I'm gonna do that is go let's click select the character first and then go up here uh, on the material setting thing uh, then uh, first thing uh, we don't want him to look all you know shiny and stuff so what we're gonna do is turn the intensity down to zero to get those things away and now we're gonna add some color to him like uh, by clicking on this thing and uh, 
moving this wherever you want his color to be. So I'm just going to make him that color for now. And okay, yeah, that's basically want, what we want to do here. Uh, and now we want to um, add an armature which is also called the bone. So we're going to be adding an armature. So how you're going to do that by, is by uh, shift A and then go down. Oh, okay. Shift A. I'm just going to use this thing here. Armature and uh, single bone. Okay. And then the bone comes up there. So now we click one to go into the fr front view. And uh, for this armature, I'm going to be using uh, the quad view, which is uh, separated into four pieces like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that by is uh, clicking N to bring up this panel, and then going down to uh, okay, where was it? Uh, it should be okay, right here on the display panel here we go into Toggy Quad View and I'm using the Blender version 7.2 7.2 uh, I mean 2.72 yeah I said that right so yeah I'm gonna be using this way then we can click N again and the bone is far back there so I'm just gonna bring that closer to here yeah, that looks right. Okay, now uh, right here, and uh, let's see. Okay, we can click uh, one here, or you could use this thing here. So, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, bring it right there, bring it up a bit, and okay. Now you cannot see this bone here. So you cannot see what you're doing. Uh, uh, so we're just gonna make the bone like to show up on top of the mesh. So we're gonna go into this. When you select the bone, you'll see this property come up here, and uh, we want the bone to be X-ray. Yeah. So we just click on that, and that's X-ray now. So we can bring this down here so uh, let's look tab, tab to go into edit mode and now I'm just gonna be uh, starting off with the legs and that stuff so now what I'm gonna do is clicking click E and then Z to extrude it up about uh, there okay now I'm going to click E again to uh, bring that a bit down about there and then E again and that's going to be his knee and then E again that's going to be his foot okay that doesn't look right so uh, we're just gonna bring his knee down a bit there and then just do the same on the other side so about there uh, there and there yeah, that looks about right okay now we're just gonna click on this thing here and then we'll shift and move up and down uh, e to extrude, Z to go straight up. Usually I bring this down to here, then extrude again and again and again. But uh, for the sake of time, let's just extrude up to right here. Okay. Now we can extrude out his arms. First his head, okay. So we click E and then Z and just bring that up there. Okay. Now we can click this. E and then that's his shoulder there, E that's his elbow there, 
E again, and that's his arm there. Let's just bring this a little bit down on the x axis. Okay, uh, now we can just do the same on the other side. E to extrude shoulder, elbow, hand. Okay, now we can uh, let's just adjust this a bit here. Okay, now let's move on here. So this looks right. Let's see. X rays. It's just that, 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 that. Okay, yeah, that's right here. Okay, now just gonna switch on the X ray again. And now I'm gonna uh, click N and click on the Toggy Quad View again to uh, bring it back. Uh, okay, now we're, uh, let's see how it works, uh, post mode, R to rotate, uh, okay, uh, R to rotate, uh, to rotate, okay, and then you notice that this uh, guy here is not moving with the bones, and that's just because, uh, we didn't parent the bone armature to the character mesh so how we're going to do that is go on uh, object mode <clears throat> and then click on the guy here and then click the armature by holding down shift so that will select both of them or you could just click on uh, this here left click on this and then hold shift and left click on the cube <clears throat> so that's done now we can click control P and then click on um, let's see um, we're just gonna do it uh, okay let's Try this again. Uh, this and this. And control P. Okay. Uh, um, for the sake of time, we're just gonna do with automatic weights, and uh, that's done, I think. So let's select the armature, the tab, and go into pose mode. And if let's see, we move this. Let's click one. If we rotate his arm by R. Yeah, he moves with it. See, so uh, let's go there. G to grab. Uh, yeah, uh, he moves with the thing now. So uh, that's it for now. If you like this video, please click on the like button, and uh, I'll see you next time.